Hey guys, and welcome back to Surviving Mars, where we have currently just opened up our second dome. This dome dedicated to the production of machine parts and metals, working out pretty well. We have a cable fault. Well, I, I don't care about that. Uh, we do keep having little bits of crop failure every now and then, but I don't think we're that bothered about that too much. I see we've got a, a second shift going in the science there. Let's let's not bother about that. I I don't really care about that. In fact. Thinking about it, I have my food shift only working on the second shift. So if we make sure everybody is working on the first shift, then they can all go together to get their food on the second shift. Uh, so yeah, that, ma that makes sense to me. I don't know if it does to you. I I'm looking around, right? And I'm seeing the number of jobs. Is this actually 28 people working here? Now, I believe the majority of the people are over here. Well, there's still only eight. Yeah, that's a thing. We've got scientists in here. I don't mind having the non-specialized. We should have two geologists and non-specialized across the board, right? Where is our extra geologist? I bet he's working over here. Look at that. Okay, well, that's a botanist. I don't know. These people, they, they don't want to go where they're supposed to go. I tell you that much for free. If that's a botanist here. I bet we've got a geologist working somewhere else. So you're a botanist over here. What about you in here? Just botanist. Okay, I'll tell you what. We're going to shut Research this one down complete. and we're going to let... the all the botanists fill up this one, hopefully, maybe. Uh, that's my plan, anyway. Uh, maybe we'll put this on the highest priority. This could be waiting for more people. Of course, the fact that we have the completely full 28 um, residentials done here means we definitely need to start working on some extra stuff, extra ways of packing people into the domes. Thankfully, coming up in the next bit of uh, research, well, not the, not the very next bit, that inc increases the number of applicants appearing on Earth. But the one after that is all about apartments and cramming more people in. Oh, look at this. Utility crops unlocks new crops of farms uh, and hydroponics farms that improve oxygen and uh, soil quality. That's pretty good, actually. That is pretty good. Let's let's do that. Let's let's get the soil and green on the go. We've been talking about it for a little while now. We've got the live on Mars already going. What is this over here? Martian University. Not so bothered about that. Uh, colonization colonists without proper specialization suffer a lower work penalty. That would be pretty good. Let's try and queue that one up as well. Uh, licensed Martian technology for use on Earth. Earn money. Nah, not bothered. Uh, sanity breakdown stuff. Okay, this this is all looking good here. Look good let's get the sterling engine on the go as well and let's see how long it takes us to do uh, that lot mm, always nice always nice though i do notice that i'm queuing up so much stuff now that the actual research doesn't get done until like the episode later or something like that so i mean you you guys are fine with that though right you, you can follow a thread i'm sure you can i'm sure you can this beer this building is deteriorated and we'll Resources not work until it gets some concrete like seriously concrete concrete is right here how how do we not have concrete for this okay it's good it's going on all right i'm gonna come back when i thought about what our next stage is at the moment i'm just kind of clearing map and hoping that all these sectors can show me some beautiful beautiful places to go and uh colonize again i think i'm gonna ruthlessly rip this hydroponics farm down let's get let's get all the stuff back from it it's not all the stuff but uh let, let's get some of the stuff back from it and that should work out pretty well for us. So I'm looking around this base and you can see here we've got five engineer slots ready to go but we have this diner absorbing one of my engineers and also this infirmary over here absorbing one of my engineers. There he is, or she is, over there. The same can be said for the metal extractor. We've got a space for four geologists, yet one of these dining bars very much taking up uh, a geologist over there and the infirmary also taking a geologist. So we need to get ourselves four non-specialized and two medics from the old earth over there. Now, do we have do we have room for them we don't really have room for them right now so i'm going to build myself a home and educational center that i've always known as a living quarter let's do that like that that should work out pretty well and then go to not not research go to our rockets and make ourselves a passenger rocket we need to just just review these people it doesn't matter does not matter so i need two medics definitely need two medics there's two medics right right at the top of the screen i'm just going to take them they, they seem like a great idea let's have a look workaholic and gamer and a survivor uh, no no that's geologist and party animal even better even better uh, we then need uh we didn't need engineers we needed four people with no specialization a nerdy fit person a workaholic survivor enthusiast let's go with that one uh down here i'm trying to i'm hoping i'm hoping we'll find a guru somewhere i'm definitely not bringing a lazy non-specialized person that 
that's just not a not a way forwards there, you know. Workaholic loner. That, I mean, that's that's not the worst I've ever seen. Let's let's grab that one. If I could get a whole bunch of workaholics and just like totally push them as hard as we can, that that would also work out quite well. Now, do I want to fill up with just a bunch of non-specialized people now, uh, and then we can get them to do other random jobs, or do I just take this small group of people? Does it cost me money to launch a rocket? The passenger. Uh, it doesn't say it's going to cost me any money to launch this rocket, so I don't see why I shouldn't take a small group. We've got non-specialized here. Can you remember how many non-specialized it was I needed? It was like four, right? One, two... Uh, let, let's try and find someone who's a little bit better at this. I mean, do I, do I want to take an engineer and then I can shop, ship them across to the other one? I mean, not at the moment, no. I'll leave them on the list. Leave them on the list. I'm kind of hoping that I can find some people in here who are definitely worth taking. Um, enthusiastic workaholics would be ideal, you know? Uh, but a survivor's pretty good. Composed, loner, gamer and gambler. I'm not, I'm not so sure about this gambling business. Uh, hippies are pretty good, though. Let's bring some hippies. Is that four non-specialized I have now? One, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, let's just launch this. Two medics, two non uh, four non-specialized. There's only space for two. No, that's all right. Don't, don't worry about that. Don't, don't keep telling me that, you know, there's not enough space. I'm building space. Space is being made. I mean, I suppose at the same time, space is all around us, man. But uh, that, that's fine. That's fine. All right. Let's see what's going on here. We're just going to have to wait. We've got a, we've got a rocket inbound. We've got buildings being built. It, it's going to take a little bit of time, though. One thing I am noticing is that our uh, waste rock deposit sites have uh, definitely filled up here. I'm not sure what else to do about this, because obviously... We're going to end up with, like, entirely covering the map with these waste deposit sites. I don't think that's the best idea. Oh, we can't rotate them to be point up. That's a shame. I would like it to fit right in there. That, that would be great. And then almost immediately, these guys go and fill the, plate, the boxes up. Uh, I suppose that's all right. All right, anyway. New colonists are a go. Block, blocking Cable objects. Get this, get this out of my face. I don't, I don't want that there. Okay, that's cool. Is that two bits of fuel that will definitely get put away a straight Sector away? Check to scan. Lovely. Uh, so something else that I've noticed inside here got power sterling generator. I would really like to get this sterling generator somewhere New near the base just to make sure that you know we are constantly able to power this. Now this takes a whopping fifty-one power, so we're going to have to try and balance that out. This sterling generator even. Even in its open state, let's have a look up here, we'll only produce 20. So it turns out we need uh, two and a half sterling generators. So three would definitely cover cover us for any eventualities, but not, not quite yet. Not quite yet. Okay, so with the arriving colonists, have we actually Reason balanced this out? Complete. No specialization, no specialization, no specialization, and no specialization. That's pretty good. This guy hung over. Oh, alcoholics, man. Alcoholics. We should now have this place full of medics. Medic, 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 medic. Okay, lovely. We're, we're getting this place balanced out pretty well over here we have all the engineers okay that's pretty sweet and over here all the geologists now do we have people like just being active uh, like well, downtime do we have people with downtime no that's that's not how i want how do i search this dome for its colonists one unemployed colonist you know what? I'm happy with that. I am happy with that. Children will... Oh, wait. Children will be born in this dome. The dome is comfortable enough. Ah, so do we want to start making this the place where children are indeed born? Uh, we are still waiting for stuff to get offloaded here before we can send Clark back. Uh, or do we just want to, like, start filling this place up? We could do, you know? We could do. The thing that's uh, holding me back is I don't know how how shuttles work. I'm trying to find the place where shuttles... Okay, shuttle hub uh, houses these guys. So let's put that down. It's going to take forever. It really is going to take forever. But if the moment we start doing that, we can start shuttling people back and forth. The thing that confuses me is I don't know whether the shuttle hub sits inside the dome or you put it just outside the dome and another one over here. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, and until I figure that out, I'm not going to be able to figure out how to move children around like we could put a nursery back here put a school in and then we're kind of done right should we should we do that do that let's let's let this guy go uh in the life support no it's going to be in homes education and research we want the nursery back here yeah let's do that keep keep the children away you and put a school here yeah make them walk back and forth past their future place of employment 
yeah, yeah, that works for me. That works for me. So, okay, here come the little drones to come along and do all the work. They kind of drop everything off and then they just kind of... No? No, no one's gonna, gonna go do the little Macarena shuffle that they're doing to, uh, to make it work. All right, I, I suppose we're gonna have to wait. I, I kind of wanted to watch this go down. What about you? Can we can we make you higher priority? Can you, can you just come along and do all the work on here? Literally all we need, there we go. Here's the dude doing a little dance to make sure it all works out all okay. Yeah, nice, nice, love that dance. Okay, so we got the, uh, the nursery built. We should now be getting the school built and hopefully very shortly we can have ourselves having some children here. Being able to turn Turn the population over will be pretty good. Males who want children, male, uh, females who want children. There's two and three. Ooh, look at that. Three on both. That's pretty good. If we can just keep that ticking up, that will be a-okay. I mean, having the school there, that, that's good. I didn't actually read what the school uh, gives us. I just assumed it was good. Cultivates desired perks in children using modern remote learning techniques. All right, yeah, cool. I like that. Uh, maintenance to electronics. Let's come over here and make sure that our electronics are turning over pretty well. I mean, uh, it, it's good, but it's not great. You know what I'm saying? It's good, but it's not great. We are making one a day, give or take. Uh, this is just ticking over with... Is, is this actually the, uh, the bottleneck here? If we had more rare metals... No, there's enough rare metals to go around. Uh, there's three on each pallet. That's, that's pretty good. Uh, I don't know how many this requires. Required power for stored metals five. Hmm. Okay, that that's that might be the problem there. That might be the problem. Not enough going in. We got a uh, crop for a harvest. Is we've got a good stack of food. We're not that worried about it. Let's have a look at our food stats though and see if it's something that's going down. We're at 381. I'll try and check in at the end of the episode for that. Oh, we are out of metals down this way. Let's uh, let's send our little transport dude. Oh wait, what what is everything here? We got a little rover man. We've got a explorer. Okay, let's let's have a look. Little explorer Sector man. Is there skin. anything anywhere we're going to want to put you? I mean, we could go and unlock that stuff over there, but I'm not that bothered. Let's uh, let's pop him here, and he should be able to do the work for us later. A transport dude, where are you? Hi, thanks. Can you come over here and just load up on some metals, please? That that would be very helpful. Very helpful. Now, I don't actually want to load thinking about it. Let's press that. Um, press metals, and it should do current load five. I don't know how many are going to fit in one, one universal storage. So let's just take him over here and tell him to offload there. That should help us keep everything fixed fixed up and tippity top. So I'm looking at this dome and I'm thinking we need to have a major reshuffle. We need to shake this up here. Let's destroy that. Oh, this. This is exactly why. We're going to destroy this area. We're also going to destroy the infirmary. I know, sounds crazy. But we destroyed a garden and we're going to move the infirmary into where it was. Now, people are going to be having a little bit of a freak out right now. Uh, and I don't blame them. If the hospital closed whilst I was living there, I'd be concerned as well. Let's put this up to highest priority and then let's rip down that fountain as well. Uh, this needs to be blown up and desalvaged if at all possible. Desalvaged? Is that a word? I, d I don't know. That would be rebuilding. Yeah, and we're not rebuilding. Oh no, we are destroying. Destroying. Now, because I want to build, it's here somewhere, you, the apartment. Maintenance is only concrete, residential space 24. That's nearly enough for the entire population of these uh, living quarters over here. That's pretty nice. And I'm now considering whether I want to do something similar over here, where I put down the living, the, uh, the, the apartments and then destroy the living quarters. I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to do that. We're going to do this in both places. Something like that looking good. Oh, looking really good, actually. Uh, this will probably be the last sector thing scan. we do Anomaly for today. Found. Select a sector to scan. Many anomalies down there, that's pretty cool. Let's clear this edge and then start working on moving the whole lot down. Eventually, we're gonna get this entire place scanned out. It's gonna be cool, it's gonna be really cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna have a good time when we do that. All right, let's have a look over here. Construction site polymers are what we're short of. Not, not really surprising. This one getting built though, so that's pretty cool. Let's have a look at our actual polymer production over here because we've only got one engineer. It's not good enough, man. It's not good enough. So this place, we're gonna, uh, gonna salvage? Let's do that. Hopefully this will now fill up with residents almost immediately. Boom, okay, and then boom, look at that. All right, nice, nice, nice. Uh, probably could end up working at destroying both. Now, the, the problem here is, of course, that there's 14 
let's do that. Uh, 14 residents in each of these living quarters, and there's only 24 spaces, which means four people will be left homeless if I do that. And that that's that's not what I'm about, you know? That's not what I'm about. What about over here? This place is actually somewhere where everything could get knocked down when these get done, though. Uh, just waiting on those polymers. Just waiting on the polymers. Oh, this is nice. Look, this metals place has had to shut down because it's backing up too much. And is this one in a similar scenario? Look at this. Pallets of metal outside the front. Metal down here as well. All of them being turned into machine parts as fast as they can actually be made here. Uh, actually, thinking about it, we could we could almost open up another shift at some point. It's, it's all these engineers. I mean, where do we pick up so many engineers from? That's what I need to know. Lifetime graduate. Oh, look at this. Oh, we've got kids on board. Hey. I didn't know that kids have been been had. I didn't know kids have been had. Let's have a look over here. Uh, unemployed jobs. Uh, there is a way of searching by age, is there not? I'm sure. I'm sure there was somewhere. No one's got a rare trait. Oh, I, I thought there was. Unemployed colonists. Let's have a look. Um, you are a geologist waiting for something to do. I would love to get you up here. If that was at all possible to get you working up there, that would be great. I'm, I'm not sure if we can, though. Uh, let's wait for the morning and see what happens. Uh, engineers are definitely a thing. Let's have a quick look inside our passenger rocket. I'm not actually going to do anything here. Uh, we're going to open the specialization. We're going to get rid of everything that's not an engineer and see how many we have left. I mean, we can get five in. That's an entire another shift. It's pretty good. That's pretty good. An entire another shift. Uh, let's come back. Do, do I want to have a look at them? In fact, let, let's go back. No, specializations are what I want. Let's turn the non-specializations off and review these five people. Uh, Hypochondriac. Oh, man, they're, they're pretty bad, actually. Glutton. Uh, survivor. Con the, the coronic condition, I'm not sure whether is actually something to worry about or not. But th all, those, all those gluttons. I mean, I suppose... If I want to have the best, I need to be prepared to pay for the resources, right? That, that That's a thing. Okay, it looks like we are actually burning through food. Yeah, let's have a look. We, we are producing four food and we're consuming seven. That's kind of okay. I'm, I'm not I'm not overly bothered about that. The thing I am thinking is we have this thing called a farm. I, I know, crazy, but this is a hydroponics farm. And then we have another farm, an ordinary farm. Let's have a, I thought it would have been here. Dome, service, uh, life support, of course. Ah, I haven't unlocked it yet. Ignore me. I'll tell you about this la next episode. <laughs> So I'm pushing these guys hard today to try and get the polymers out. We've just had a, uh, a first work shift and immediately clicks on here to try and get the second work shift. And you can see that I am actually pushing them hard. The reason being is we're running out of electronics and we've only got one person working there. So that's uh, something to keep on an eye on top of. Really need to try and get these uh, polymers out to build this over here, if at all possible. The moment it gets actually built, we will uh, turn the high priority-ness off. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep people working overnight, if at all possible. Possible. I really need to there we go we're on the stopped work shift there let's turn that one off transfer them forward and move the old um, heavy workload toggle down 3.1 overnight should be enough to get us going over here 8.6 we're doing pretty well we just need a few more to get produced there's one there is there going to be another one so that's uh, 9.6 that that's good if we could get one more made just one more come on I, I'm watching your output here because there we go that's the other one getting made tell me that this over here takes us to 9.6 all right let's let's do this we now go off of that and we put that one over there we put this back down to normal priority that should then make this guy over here start working again at normal priority and hopefully we can get back on track you can see over here we are getting things built and ready to go just in time for me to rip down all the all the domes living spaces in here so that should work out pretty well for me okay with those done i am going to say thank you very much for joining for this adventure Ladies and gentlemen, I will see you next time where I think we're going to have to try and get another dome built. Why can't I click on this? There we go. Uh, because obviously this is ticking over quite well. This is um, a mess as it's always been, but ticking over okay. We've got a metal node up there that we can work on. And we've got uh, these me rare metal nodes that we can also work on over here. So I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!